Alrighty, welcome back. We are on episode 53. We just spent the whole last episode backtracking and redoing over an hour's worth of work to complete the quest Hot Commodities because it would have become uncompletable had we continued on the course we were at. So now we're, we're set up to go in and see what's going on with Crow and Markham and this is going to lead to a fight where you have to choose a side between Markham or Crow and I am going to choose Crow so that means we're going to have to fight a lot of robots going forward so we need to set up to take down uh, robots the problem we're going to come across at least <laughs> right now is we only have about 167 energy cells and with all of these guys firing off weapons energy weapons so let's look at Kwan's energy weapon let's find Kwan's energy weapon Where are you all right the argon laser between him and Minx's weapon those energy cells are just gonna disappear quickly so we're likely going to run out of energy cells, so we're going to have to be set up to uh, use regular weapons. I don't expect to have to deal with humans other than maybe Markham, so I don't see the need to have uh, disruption weapons equipped unless you have the option to. So right now, I mean, I can go ahead and put the disruption weapon on Lucia. And actually, we can go ahead and give her the assault rifle. Because she doesn't have an energy weapon, but her guardian's good. We have an energy weapon here, so no. He doesn't have any options right now other than those. Scotchmo, though, he can go ahead and get a demonic gunlet on. As far as uh, consumables go, we'd have EMP grenades, so we can go ahead and use those instead of the disruption grenades. I'll keep some disruption grenades on just in case we need to use them, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the chemical stabilizer on. We're going to run into them using disruption weapons against us, so be nice to be able to remove that if we have to. Uh, we don't want her to have that. Quan. We'll let him keep one of those. And we'll let Cordite keep it. Alright. Uh, another thing we're going to need. Nerd stuff. Let's see. I don't think we have enough nerd stuff to do this. I believe there is a check, a nerd stuff tent check, and we're not going to be able to do it. Uh, not a check, but um, to hack into something. Hmm. And I don't have a way to get nerd stuff. Wait, wait, do I? No, I don't. Because that would PDA would give me one, but it wouldn't. I can't get to ten unless I use a book. You know what? I might have one. Do I have one? No. No nerd stuff, but... Hmm. You know... How close am I to leveling? Is anybody close? Having second thoughts here. I know die will become aggro to us when we go against Markham. Even after that blue hack. 
and she's a 10 check to hack. I don't know what happens if we kill her. Like I, I'm, I'm assuming that's it. That's the end of die. And you know she's gone from the game. But if we hack her, will she act like every other robot and die at the end of the fight? And the only way I'm going to figure that out is to get a level so that I can get one more nerd stuff. Well, even that, I wouldn't get enough nerd stuff to do. Because this is an upgrade of five, I would only get four. So, alright, yeah, I don't want to lengthen this out any longer because that would require not only, that would require two levels to go up and that's just not going to be I anytime soon. So, not optimal, but okay. Next playthrough, I'll remember that and have that set up. We at Steeltown want to assure those of you applying for work that there is nothing wrong with the testing machine. You just have to try harder. Heard a lot of shooting out in the scrapyard. Was that you? Celine, better not screw us over. Celine, better not screw us over. Lane, better not screw us over. Can't wait to get inside the gates. Celine's gonna let us through the gates. Then we'll be safe. I hear they have beds in there. I hear they have beds in there. Celine's got our back. Just you wait and see. She's gonna take care of us. Celine, better not screw us over. Alright. Alright, so some robots there. It doesn't seem like there's that many, really. We have this uh, transport card, and um, I'm not sure if that's on our side or their side. So we'll go ahead and do a hard save here. Alrighty, sorry about that. Had to take a break, so without further ado, we're going into the uh, fight. Okay, let's see. Robot, robot, robot. Four robots. Okay. And this vehicle. Is that a good guy or a bad guy? Did Celine Crow come in that? Hmm. Alright, so right now all I see is four robots and a possible vehicle. Alright. We got rid of Ludlow, but we only went back to work because the Rangers promised you'd speak to us ASAP. And you haven't said shit! Come on. It's only been, what, a few hours? Yeah? And what part of ASAP didn't you understand? Can't we do this after we finish preparing for the coming of the gangs? I'm trying to keep your people safe. Ha! Of course you are. Wouldn't want anyone else damaging your property, would you? Well, we want to be safe from you, Markham. We want safer machines, better pay, a schedule that doesn't drive us into the grave. And I'll give it to you, Crow. All of it. I promise. Afterwards. After we stop the gangs from raising this place to the ground and taking you all as slaves. Just please, please go back to work now. You don't get it, Markham. We're not afraid of being taken as slaves because we're already slaves. You, on the other hand, have a whole factory to lose if we don't go back to work. And that, lady, is called leverage. Now, let's parlay. Rangers, there you are. 
Can you believe this shit? Markham's breaking promises already. We're not going back in there until she opens negotiations, and that's that. I wonder what that loud sound was. <laughs> Crow's crazy, Rangers. I haven't had time to finish a cup of coffee since you left, and she's already on strike. Tell her I'll honor my promises when we're all safe. Man, that must have been one very large cup of coffee. Must be. She still has it. Well, the neutral response is the most sensible. Didn't I say I was willing to negotiate? The only thing I won't compromise on is the time. We talk now, or we're done talking. And that's the one thing I can't compromise on. Either work now and negotiate later, or you'll never work here again. Of course. Same old song and dance, eh, hey Markham? Why is it every time the workers want something, the answer is always, wait till next year, or after this push? And every time the bosses want something, we're supposed to say, yes, ma'am, right away, ma'am. Well, ma'am, we're done delaying our safety and security until it's convenient for you. If you can't run this factory so it takes care of all of us, then you're not going to run it at all. We are. As of right now, we're taking over. <laughs> what? Are you insane? You don't know how to run a factory. Neither do you, Markham. You're done. How about you, Rangers? You helped us before. Will you help us again? You know, I've noticed this, this reoccurring theme so far in Wasteland 3 is that when you have opposing factions, so far, you know, I haven't really liked either of the people running the factions. I just, they're... You don't feel any affinity towards them. You don't like. I really want to help this person, or I really don't want to help this person. They're they're all kind of plain and meh. And like, I, I really just don't want to help either of you because you're so unpersonable. I guess uh, no charisma. I mean, it's just like uh, it's, it's like they cut and paste pasted Hope Emerson's NPC and used it over and over in the game and just switched the voice or the you know the voice tone a little bit on each one but it's basically Hope Emerson over and over and over and over again and if you didn't like Hope or anything she's about you're not going to like any of the other NPCs that they're putting in place I mean it's just terrible I mean the only one I could say that maybe okay I was okay that I would be on the side of at least or not on the side of just depending on would based on character alone would have been Sheriff Daisy I mean I don't know. I, I just don't care about Celine Crow, and I don't care about Markham. I, I have no affinity to these two. It's almost like, you know, you can just skip teal, Steel Town altogether and say, okay, let's move on and play the game uh, somewhere else. doing nothing while my brothers and sisters get mangled in the machines. Rash is working another 16-hour shift on no sleep and half rations. This is life or death for us, Rangers. Literal life or death. Now, you're either with us or you're against us. Please don't do this, Rangers. If you betray Administrator Markham, I'm gonna have to fight you. I mean, so far, of, of all the reasons now that I'm looking at this to not f fight Markham was because I like Die. I mean, uh, the NPC, the way, the voice acting, I mean, it's just, I, I would rather not kill Die. <laughs> so I would pick I would pick Markham if I were going that route simply because of Die. I feel for Crow and the workers, but Steel Town in Colorado needs stability right now. We gotta back Markham. And of course, he's he's for Markham. Rangers, you are fools if you do this. Your reputation, your contract with the Patriarch, the survival of Steel Town. All those things will be thrown away if you take this step. 
So, the intention of this playthrough was to stay on the Patriots' side as long as possible. And, you know, to remain there if possible. But the two main things I wanted to see out of this playthrough was a full brig and to be on the side of the AI or the robots. So I'm taking the, the side that the rangers shouldn't take. They shouldn't be on the AI side. They shouldn't be on the robot side. So I wanted to play the game at that first. So saving Steel Town by picking Blue and Crow, then you save the AI. Yes, likely pissing off the Patriarch, but I, I want to be on the AI side as the main thing of this playthrough, and that means if I piss off the Patriarch, then that's just gonna ha how it's going to be. Um, hopefully, I can somehow soothe uh, the way and you know still remain in his uh, good graces after this. But if not, that's just how it's going to be. As far as the arresting, I would have liked to arrest Blue and stick him in the jail, but simply because I know the option is there and that he would go to jail. Um, so what I'm hoping now is that either I get a chance to arrest Abigail or maybe even arrest Crow and still get somebody in jail that I wouldn't have been able to get if I chose a different way of going. But right now, as far as filling up the brig, I've passed up the opportunity to put um, Blue in jail. So I'm hoping that I get an opportunity to put somebody else in jail other than Blue. If not, then, you know, one of the main goals I had for this playthrough was like, okay, gone, because now I can't get Blue in there. And then I'll have to do it again on another playthrough where I actually do get him in there. All right. Anyway, where are we at? Now I'm finally seeing that Crow is the maniac Ludlow always said she was. So I am ordering you, Rangers, put down this revolt and remove her by any means necessary. Do I make myself clear? And again, here she is, ordering us to do stuff. It's like, what? You're not going to order us to do a goddamn thing. So I really would like to select this because I don't care about either of them. Just like I said, I just don't give a shit. Um, but this would likely, if I were programming it, I would make this lead to you fighting both at the same time and fucking you on all of it. So I, I'm not going to select that. Uh, we're going to go for Crow, so we're not going to do that. As far as these other two lines here of dialogue Markham's time's up and you're going down I mean I, I don't want to be like that confrontational like I don't you know I'm not like gung-ho against Markham I just want her to get out of the damn way so uh, you know I don't have anything against her to where I would say your time's up or you're never going down so there, sh there should have been another response that's more of neutral like uh, you know hey you know I'm picking her sorry uh, these these are not well done but as I said she's not the boss of us so yeah we're gonna have to pick this one Idiots. You'll never get through these doors. all right so we got refugee rank up there uh, plus five and a new mission oh, sorry Rangers I can't help you anymore you're going against everything administrator Markham wanted Man, I would really love to have uh, nerd stuff at 10 here to be I able to hack her. Just to see if she could survive the fight.
Alright, shield up. Oh, look at that. Pol Did Polly get a shield? Are you kidding me? Polly got a shield. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Alright, so a lot more robots have appeared than I had counted. So I know they created some by throwing some down, so. But man, that's a lot more than we started out the fight with. Um, this fucking thing here just put down a disruption field, so that's gotta go. We can't have that firing disruption field the entire fight. That just cannot happen. Dies over here. Alright, we got a vehicle that can get in the fight. Will it run these NPCs over and kill them? I know that when we do it as a party, the party moves, but will it kill these guys? I got a feeling if I run these guys over, they're gonna die. So, yeah. I'm gonna go on the side of caution here and get get this thing over here. I'm almost positive it'll fucking kill him. So we'll have to go the long way around. We want it. We want to get the Kodiak in because it's got a disruptor weapon on it right now. All right, so we got to take care of this fucking thing. So do that. Throw out a mark. Hopefully, he doesn't resist. Let's let him know we do. Fuck you. God damn it. All right. Okay. Let's hack a robot. Where are you at, Scotchmo? Alright, we need to hack somebody. This guy over here. Let's hack this guy over here. Alright. That kind of takes Scotchmo away from where I want to be. He's got his uh, AE attack. Would be nice to lay that thing down right here, but I couldn't hack it and do that. Maybe you get him closer over there and then do it. What do we got? Yeah, okay. Let's get him closer there. Maybe we can use that stone attack here in a bit. Oh wow, it changed. I didn't notice that. Okay, so precision strike went away. So we have precision strike available here. Let's go ahead and use it. All right, one shot. Okay, no more disruption field. Uh, switch back to the robot one. All right, we can still fire one shot. Do we have anybody in line? Two in line there. All right. Oh, come on, Scotchmo. How is he in line there? He didn't light up. Huh. He didn't take any damage, though. Now I'm looking at him. I should have fucking buffed him up with, uh, drugs. I forgot about drugs. That's the thing about the consumables, man. You forget about using them. Uh, his evasion's fucked. Alright. That sucks. Should have, uh, I should have done that before this fight. Alright, Ironclad, you're pretty useless in combat. But you do have this hack. Alright. Uh, he'll get hit there. I want him to be close to hack something. Let's get him over, over here. Let's try to get him over here to hack this robot. Alright, let's switch up to the... You. Got a torrent strike. Another. Let's throw a decoy. How about that? Come here, decoy. This looks like a good spot for a decoy right around here. All right. Plasma grenade. Drop. 
Actually, what we need to be doing is taking out these guys because they're just going to keep throwing down the damn dogs. So this guy has to be the next priority, the guy that's charmed, or this guy here. Die. She's got the disruptor weapon, so she's not really going to do damage, but she's going to cause you to lose AP eventually. Waste Wolf is in the way of the torrent strike if I go that way. go into the fire and fire the torrent strike here. I don't know if it'll hit the upper level though. Alright, let's go over here. Alright, we get a free attack on Stormer. So let's take that on 95%. Torrent strike. Yeah, if the waste whiff weren't in the way, I'd just fire it right there. It looks like I can hit the guy on top, so... Uh, you know what? I think I just killed one of my allies. Fuck, I did. <laughs> Whoops. Hope that didn't come back and bite me. Alright, we need to get you... Juan, where can you be useful? Forty-nine percent. Fifty-nine percent. If I go up here, Juan gets hit. But then I get 49%. Yeah. Okay. Seven. Ah. Uh, don't tell me that thing just did that to me. He should be able to fire. Why is he not firing? Alright, there we go. What the fuck? Alright, Lucia, where are we at? Two on the disruption field. No one has a mark. Should've did that first. Two AP. I get three shots. I get three shots if I don't move. Alright. That means this guy's gotta come next. This guy over here. Ahead and start working with the guy we charmed. All right. Well, All right. Decoy sucking up some of those uh, disruptor fields. Juan's getting munched on. Die. All right. Okay. What's it gonna do? Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, he got Quan. So, yeah. That was bad Quan placement, apparently. Look at all those robots in a line. If I can get over there, fire... <laughs> you better oil up, I'm gonna fucking try! <laughs> fucking Polly! Oh my god. Alright, let's get you over here. Be able to move here without killing him. Alright. Getting there. Alright. Bust out another rally. I think Cordite gets to get some range. I think Juan is fucked. Yes, Juan is fucked. Uh, I would really like to get over here and get all of those in a line, but. Maybe I can get three of them? If I get... here? Alright, let's try to get here and get three of them. Dogbot, dogbot. Alright, dogbot. Get all those dogbots. Okay. Got two. Less. Um, Cordite was going to go and hack this guy. I don't know if I'm going to have enough AP to do it now. How much do I need? Two. Can I hack him from here, or do I have to be right up there? Come on. 
Yep, you gotta be up on the goddamn platform. Alright, I should still be able to do it. I guess it's not really a hack, but a stun. Alright, so that thing... 100 action points, okay, good. Alright, that virtually takes him out of there. So... Need these two to die next. Where's Minx? Do I have anything here? 49. 689. Die. Ah. We'll see ya. Alright. Start taking things out. Get leadership buff here. Come off it. Alright, there's the bonus. Alright, Scotchmo. 97 points. He might be able to come up here and hit it. Can I attack it and kill it? Alright, come on. Big swing. Alright, Scotch Mo. Here we go. Quan is in trouble. What's that fire thing? Alright, yeah, Quan's in, in deep shit. Trying to poison the robot. Alright, Quan still can't move. He's in trouble. Alright, get you up here. Get that without hitting Quan. Um, I can't move Juan. He's gonna die next to him unless I deal with this fucker. I can hack the dog. I can't hack the dog. Dog's out of range. Yeah, I'm fucked here. Um, I don't have a dart. Um, frick. I'm gonna have to get Scotchmo over here to be able to res Juan because I don't think he's gonna live. Unless Lucia can do some magic. Alright, what do we got? This guy's back up and running. We have another mark somewhere. Mm, if I use the mark on that. Um, can I shoot him? 95. Lucy is in the way. Lucy. Uh, she's 40 something percent there. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Alright, Minx. Need to reload on her. Alright, either way, I gotta start taking care of him, too, so. Let's get over there, move up. We'll throw a mark on this guy. Come on! Okay. Let's see, honey. Can I fire both of those? I can. Does that hit Tomcat? No. Fire. Oh, come on. Well, okay. We'll start setting up going. Let's see, here? 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 here. Alright, we're gonna have to move you over here. 
Don't go to the fire side. Go to this side. Why do you go fire side? God damn it. Cordite. Not much I can do here. I mean, it's not even worth trying to damage. Let's just get some... Disruptor. Lose. Ah, come on. God damn it. Don't... All right. Did we break his armor already? Yes, his armor's broken. Maybe we can miracle a kill here. Miracle a kill. Reload. I have to get 264 in one shot. Why did he turn... Why is he not aggro now? Oh, cool. Okay. Nice. We knocked out a CPU and he didn't that he turned his aggro away. Okay. Can I move too and hit that dog bot? No, I can't hit the dog bot. Okay. 54, 54. That's a good hit. Mm. All right. She got another shot here too. Rush. No, Juan. Live. Yes. Yes. Lucky evade. God damn it. We got another bot out. Uh, I was almost ready to get him dead, too. Calm down, value it, please. Okay, got a dog bot out on us. Juan still locked the fuck up, but we can now heal him. Maybe. The fuck, get in there, Scotchmo. Come here. All right. And we can actually fire that off, can't we? No, we can't. The disruption fuel got me. But we should be able to do a foam finger. Okay, let's see. All right, that fucker over here has got to die. Come on. Great justice. All right. Reload. in range for both of these. Get Reckless going, Stormer going. 22% sucks. Three AP. Eh, he's probably too far away from him to use it too. Oh, finger. Yeah, God damn it. Okay. Let's give Quan a helping hand here. That should get Quan back into business. Uh, really have no use to do this right now. Get die on her own. Yeah, okay, we can get die on her own. Okay. Let's go ahead and blast this on this dog. All right, take him out of the fight for now. All right, let's see. Are we back to 46%? Uh, okay, 86%. Let's do that. Fuck you. God damn it. I needed that to die. How many hit points? 67? 
highly doubtful he can do that much. Wait, maybe you can do it with a shotgun. Okay. Ah, he's got a mark. Okay. Damn it. Shotgun, 57%. Alright, let's go ahead and mark it. I should have marked it first. Alright, use that shotgun arm of his. Okay, maybe he can take him out on his own. Come on, get the decoy away. Oh, it's gonna be fucking close. Alright, fucking Cordite came through for us. Hiding. Alright, what do we got left? We got a dog over here. Let's check the regular round here. Should do 200. Uh, seven. Okay, he's gone. Minx is still moving. Okay, still moving. Let's go. And Lucia can start making her way over here. I'm gonna try to leave die for last and maybe somehow, some way. <laughs> so so he's out there <laughs> gonna <to> die. <laughs> Ain't got no kids. <laughs> Ain't no kids. <laughs> That's funny shit. Alright, that's great having that conversation point come up in combat. I mean, wow. Alright. What do we got going on here? I just need this dog dead. Do we have a mark? Right, we just used his mark. I'll mark the dog. Hit Scotchmo. Scotchmo, hit it. All right, that's enough. That's all Scotchmo has. Quan can finally fire, but it's a five percent chance at this range. So yeah, that's not gonna happen. Fucking Quan. All right, who's in range that can do damage? Ninety-five percent. Right here. Two shots. Okay, so yeah, die has to die. Unfortunate. Wish I could hack her. I don't need to do anything with this guy. Yeah, even with the mark on, he can barely hit. sponge she's still hitting that decoy oh I forgot about this guy he's still in the mix boy that hack that CPU damage lasts a long time I wonder if that lasts the entire fight Mm. 
no pain receptors. You know, I've never noticed if his attack is any, like, will it hit Tomcat? I won't hit anything, apparently. That was kind of disappointing. Uh, one shot. 29%. Let's get her over where she can be used. Flank. Shot at 38. Map. Uh, destroyed the armor. So far, so far. Okay, come on. I mean, hit. Can't hit. This big gun isn't anywhere near where it needs to be. 38%. That's the best I can hope for, I guess. Stamma. Going for the flag. So yeah, that hack didn't last all match. Or that uh, damaged CPU. Everybody going there. Another mark. Ironclad mark. Let's let them know we're here. Let's let them know we're here by resisting the mark. By resisting another mark. We're out of marks. Congrats, you win. Fuck. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh yeah, let's loot in the middle of the fight, right? Well, shit. Because that's exactly what I wanted to do. That's annoying. Now I kind of want to kill this guy before kill and die again. Where are you at? Can we kill it? Got so many things in the way. Nothing increases the percentage. Get over here. And over here. Here. Like the worst possible place to try to kill that guy. Alright. That'll do it. Not kill the Waste Wolf. Smoked him. All right, yep, die's still there. All right, die. Let's go kill die. Uh, 
see you. Where are you at? Shot left. I hate how they just did that. They shouldn't be talking, doing any of their lines until all the menus have gone away and you can actually see what they're fucking saying. So who knows what she just said? I mean, I know she had a line before that one, so I won't even know what she said till I look at the video later of me finding it. Retarded. Fucking retarded when they do shit like that. God damn it. Pisses me off so goddamn much. Stupid programming. Sitting there spouting out the lines all over the place while you got menu systems and updates. So what the fuck happened? All right. All right. Next stop, the admin level. Got an update here. Okay. Alright, so onward, let's see. Well, we just looted almost everything in here. Thanks to Scotchmo and his greedy little paws. Our rabbit friend is now safe. His co worker made it. Okay. Alright, enthusiastic. I mean, what did they do? They Did they program it like, here, I'm going to give you four choices that we can randomly sprout out. And one of them is going to be 90% of the time, and the other ones are going to be mixed between 10% of the time, you know? It's like... Retarded. We did it! The guards could not stand before us! Okay. Workers! Friends! Hold the gates while we take the admin level! Rangers! With me! Time to take out Markham. We did it! The guards could not stand before us. Workers, friends, hold the gates while we take the admin level. Rangers, with me. Time to take out Markham. All right, so that's that. Anything else over here we need to loot? Let's come out here. We at Steeltown want to assure those of you applying for work that there is nothing wrong with the testing machine. You just have to try harder. Okay. Everybody lies about this man. Okay, so let's go up here and try to get away from the roaring fire. Which apparently I can't. Okay. Let's not come up here. Let's come back out here. that long fight we have a need to take a big dump okay so let's see reload everything all right somehow we managed to come out of that fight with some power cells uh, check and see if we got our default weapons Did we gain a level? Did anybody gain a level? Quan got a level. Huh. Can we leave now and come back? We will find out in the next episode. So. That lucky evade saved his life. Um, remember, we're going to replace Quan at some point, so I'm not going to use any skill books on him. I think we're fine on all these checks, so I think we can finally start getting in into offense after all this time. We can start making him big time. 
And we'll get suppressing fire. Yes, suppressing fire. All right. Now we should start seeing some difference in his hits. Okay. I'm going to save the episode here. When I come back on the next episode, I'm going to see if I can leave Steel Town, power level, come back, and still be able to, to go. Like, if they're, are they going to lock me out of the zone now that we're at this part? Um, Dai's no longer here to tell me that uh, I have to stay here. But they could have programmed it to where if you leave, you get fucked. So, I'm going to uh, start the next episode out, I think, first power leveling, coming back, seeing if I can go talk to him, and then go into Blue first and see if Blue has anything going on before we go in and talk to Markham. Or fight Markham, I guess. I'm assuming that's what we're going to do. And uh, we'll talk to the various NPCs here as well to see if there's any changes in their responses. Um, I don't think I need to worry about healing now. So, yeah. Okay. Alright, guys. Later.